Hi, this is James Malone. It's James and one guy here to share this bottle with you today. This is a bottle of Aramarosa. It's a Santa Barbara Pinot Noir, and it is from the Santa Rita Hills. It is from a vineyard called the La Encantada Vineyard. This is 14.1% alcohol content. First of all, I love the packaging. love that there's a rose picture here because many Pinot Noirs, in my opinion, exhibit these qualities. Love the package because it's just really, really well thought out, really beautiful, and it's a screw cap wine. This wine gives a little bit a little bit of copy on the back, talking about the founders, Richard and Thecla Sanford. Richard Sanford being of the Sanford Winery, or he formerly owned the winery. And he gives a lot of really thoughtful copy here. And it really, and I was in a talk with him yesterday. I, I, I was really inspired, but I just want to read this first. He says, we are committed to sustainable farming. Our employees and environmental considerations in the production of our wine and packaging. All our estate vineyards are sustainably farmed. And listening to Richard yesterday was, first of all, just a humble person. And he talked about his desire for doing something with a connection of, to the earth. He graduated from UC Berkeley with a degree in geography. And he talks, he gives a little bit of um, points on, well, it, it was about finding the, the perfect place for Pinot Noir in California. And previous to that, they were, Pinot Noir was planted in really hot regions, regions that just Pinot Noir just didn't thrive in. And he has a discussion, or he had a discussion with one of his cohorts, and it goes along the line that, well, you could have the most perfect soil because the other person was just saying, oh, you just need to find the right soil. And he was saying, well, you also need to have the right climate. He said you could find the most perfect soil in the Mojave Desert, but could you grow Pinot Noir? Well, the answer is obviously no, but I just thought that was really well done. And he further inspired me by saying what terroir is. We often hear that term as you, just in terms of land versus terroir is that really complex French word that means everything from wind speed, average wind speed, angle of sun, drainage, weather, humidity, everything underneath the sun regarding a specific quality qualities in a specific region and how that differs from you know meter to mile to kilometer etc so i think that was a really thoughtful thing for him to bring out and i not that i'm not inspired anymore or not that i find what people say are not as interesting but somehow he was just absolutely i, I think his delivery and his ability to just talk from his heart was just really inspiring and it brings you back to that circle of like you think you know everything or you think that not everybody is as thoughtful as you might think they are in terms of winemaking. And you're reminded once again, this is complete desire for producing amazing Pinot Noirs. So let me get to the wine and I'll take a little taste and tell you what it's about. Gorgeous coloration. I mean, the Central Coast is producing... Gorgeous Pinot Noirs, and it's getting that recognition now. And I think for a long time, it was one of those things that were appreciated, I think, to a degree, but never at the accolades to their cousins up further north in, say, Oregon or even Russian River, Sonoma County, Sonoma Coast. And that is a defining moment of just finding these really gorgeous wines. And furthermore, to think that these wines, though they are Pinot Noir, they are from, they come from Europe, they come from Burgundy. The, the mothership in a way, but we should not always expect Pinot Noirs to be Burgundian in style. I think that's a term that is a really hard one to say, unless you're talking about wines from Burgundy. So this wine is a gorgeous wine. Delicateness, earthiness, balanced wine. What I enjoy about this wine is its scent of lavender and acai, blueberry, and it's really rich in, in lavender and eucalyptus little hint of baking spices on the finish. Fantastic wine, really well done. 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. And for more wine reviews, please go to jamesandwineguide.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. And here's a salute to you, demystifying one bottle at a time. Salute. Thank you.